What is up everyone and welcome back to the Apex Wiffleball YouTube channel. This is the Commission back at it again with the top 10 players of the league. We went over the bottom five. Now it's time to start off with the top five players of the league. Starting off with number five, Ryan Watson of We Use Pine Tar, the highest ranked member of the We Use Pine Tar team, mainly because he had a very consistent bat in the Wii U's Pine Tar lineup as their number two hitter, as well as Ryan Watson was the second best pitcher in Apex Wiffle Ball, arguably the first. He had a very, very good season, and it kind of came out of nowhere. Ryan was always known as uh, a guy that just does a job, but this year he was more than a guy. He did more than just a job. Going into the season, I think everyone's expectation was that Shane Bullpez was going to be the ace of the team, and Ryan Watson was going to be a number two of what it was scheduled. We weren't really 100% sure if who was even going to be the number two, but Ryan Watson stepped up, became the number two, and then he dominated so much to where over time, he became the ace of the team. Let's go over some stats, uh, hitting, fielding, and pitching. So... He played in 10 games and went 9 for 24, which he had the 10th most hits in Apex Wiffle Ball. He actually had 42 plate appearances because he drew 18 walks, which led the league in walks drawn. If you can get on base consistently, which his on base got him a on base percentage of a 643, which was third in the league. And he had a 375 average, which is seventh. On top of that, he did score nine runs, hit two home runs, and he had eight RBIs, which is eighth in the league. Ryan Watson, just like Trent Warren, as we mentioned in the previous video, is a very consistent bat. Uh, he does get on base a little more. He had one more hit than Trent. I mean, uh, he did also play two more games than Trent, but he had one more hit, and he had eight more walks, which helped him out tremendously. And honestly... I would have never thought this if you were to tell me this last year, especially since he had one pitching appearance in the Winter League and did not do so good. His pitching got him a second place vote for Cy Young. He made six appearances and six starts. All six of them, he went the distance and he got six wins. Uh, if you thought Shane Volpes' 3-0 was impressive... Six appearances, six starts, six complete games, and a 6-0 and record, including four shutouts. I mean, the sh shutouts are crazy. That is definitely the most shutouts in the league in 2022. And just for a reference, there was only one other pitcher that pitched more than one shutout during the season which we'll get to him later. But Ryan Watson, four shutouts, including a no-hitter against the Thrashers. He threw 19 innings, which was the second most amount of innings, gave up three runs, all of them are earned, which is tied for the third least amount of runs given up. He posted a .47 ERA, which was second in the league which is insane to think that that is second. He also led the league in strikeouts with 46 strikeouts. Unbelievable how a guy who was barely on the pitching staff turned into the league's strikeout leader. Gave up eight hits and 14 walks, but the thing is, yet again, ratio, he did pitch a lot of innings. And he had the second best whip in the league with a 1.158. That was phenomenal. He also played very good in the field. He had seven putouts, three assists, and only made one error. So in total, that was a 909 fielding percentage, which was ninth in the league. So those are all the stats. Let's go over why he was number five, not any higher, not any lower. Because this was a big debate of why he wasn't any higher. Now his pitching was phenomenal. He definitely pitched better. Then Shane and Lincoln were the only two pitchers on the list. And 
he got on base more than anyone else on the list. But the thing is, yes, he got on base, but his power numbers weren't tremendous. Everyone else on the top, within the top four had better power numbers. And still posted solid averages. His average, his batting average was a little lower than most people, but his on base percentage was very high. Uh, included in the top four is obviously the winner of the Cy Young, so obviously he has to be ahead of Ryan Watson. And but like I said, it's mainly because of the bat, but. You could definitely make an argument that Ryan Watson could be 4-3 and arguably even 2. But we decided to put Ryan in at number 5 for those reasons. But obviously, he outperformed the other 5 players with the bat and most definitely the pitching. And Ryan Watson very much deserves the number 5 player in Apex Wiffle in 2022.